scientist Adamson back. Whoa, these goggles really, uh, they like suck in my brain. Look at that. Scientist Adamson here. We are back doing science again. We've explored the Northeast. We've been all over the world, but now we are back as scientists. So we are now going to learn about rocks. You've learned about the crust, the mantle, the core. Now we're going to focus more on the crust and dig under the crust and find our rocks and minerals. So before we dive in, I want to know what do you know already about rocks? Tell me three things that you know about rocks. Maybe you know how rocks are formed. Maybe you know where rocks are. Maybe you know what a rock is. Okay, so tell me three things you know about rocks. Look, I put one, two, three. Please make sure you have three details under there. Then I want you to tell me three things you want to know. Maybe you want to know how rocks are formed. Maybe you want to know why they're colorful. Maybe you have other ideas you want to know. Write it there so I can make some videos and teach you guys about the questions you may have. Then I want you to look around your house if you are at home. If you're in the classroom, look around your classroom. And I want you to tell me three things you think are made out of rock. What? Things are made out of rock? Yes, everyday things that we have here in our classroom and at home are made out of rock. Can you believe that? There are so many things. Even your kitchen counters can be made Made out of rock. They can be made out of a rock called granite. This is a type of rock. So if your um, countertops kind of look like this, then your counter might be made out of rock. What? Crazy. I know. So find three things you think are made out of rock and later on you'll find out if they really are or not. So look all over. All right. After you do this, you're not done yet. What I need you to do next is read about the types of rocks. Now, this goes into the three types of rocks, igneous, metamorphic, and sedimentary. It's going to give you a lot of information, but what we're going to do is read this today, and then each day after, we're going to focus on one of those types. So first, we're going to focus on igneous rock. That will be tomorrow, and we're going to learn all about igneous rock and how to identify them and what is an igneous rock, okay? So we're going to learn about igneous tomorrow, the following week where we'll learn about sedimentary, and then we'll learn about metamorphic. We will be doing a couple experiments with this, so that'll be cool, some hands-on learning for my in-person people. People at home, you can participate, but you'll need to go get some Starburst. So if you have access to get Starburst, be my guest and go get you some Starburst. All right, you will read about this, and then you have some questions to answer in just a moment. What I do want to stress on this though is people who study rocks are called geologists. They are scientists that study rocks, kind of like a geographer studies the land and the crust and maps it out. A geologist is a scientist that studies the rocks and minerals. So that's kind of cool that now we're not really just scientists. We are geologists. Say that again with me. Geologist. All right. Read this, please. And then after you read this, my darlings, I would like for you to answer these questions. Now, what you have to do is take the vocab word and you have to match it to the, um, uh, what do I want to call, the phrase over here. So after you have read the passage, you're going to match the phrase with the word. So I'm going to go ahead and give you the answer for volcano. So volcano is choice I because volcano is a mountain or a hill with a crater in the center from lava, from which lava, gas, and rock pieces erupt. So we learned about volcanoes. So that was a very good definition that I got from the passage. Then you'll read through that and then continue matching these. So I gave you a freebie. Go ahead and take that freebie. If you forget what to do, on the very first slide, I put the directions. Well, I'm getting a phone call, so I am going to wrap up the video. And if you have questions, you can always ask Scientist Adamson. Peace out and keep exploring our world, geologists. Can't wait for you guys to learn about rocks. Bye-bye.